right, so this is how you do Cat 6 shielded. Um, you got a stripper here. Put it on the first rung. Just go around once, nice and even. So that it's straight all the way around. Cut the string here off. Like so. And then very carefully find the edge of the foil here. And then try to actually have some of it peel off about that much. Don't want too much, but then you fold it back like so. All the way back around. And you can wrap it all the way around like that. Then you may or may not have this plastic here. Take that, take your scissors, try to get it as close to the bottom as possible. And there you go. And then you'll notice this wire here that's bare. Basically what I do is I pull it back about that far and I take the rest and I go around like so just to hold the foil while I'm working on it. Then you take all your pairs and push them down ugh, like that. Until you got this nice mushroom like so, so that you can take and clip as close to the wire as possible. There you go. Alright, let me start untwisting these. Let's see here. That helps if you at least have some fingernails for untwisting. So I got them all untwisted, so this is the same configuration, color config, as any other uh, Cat 6. Um, it's just stripe orange, straighten that out first. And then orange. I'm not even going to bother putting them in order yet until I straighten them out. orange and the brown are going to be the toughest, well, the striped orange and brown pair. You really want to get these ones straight, because those little curves make it a real pain to do. Okay, so, striped orange orange, stripe green, blue, and you really want to try to make sure you don't get overlap or at least minimize the overlap and try to keep straightening them out as you go. Stripe blue, green, stripe brown, Brown. And then just bend them to get them all in the same eh, side by side. Try to get it as close to the edge as possible, being straight so that when you push them through, you don't have one jump over on you. And then basically, what I do is I take my thumb and I go one thumbnail length, but since these are uh, the push-through style connectors. I'm actually just going to cut it off about here where it looks decent. 
All right, so I got my striped orange, orange, striped green, blue, striped blue, green, striped brown, brown. Put the tang down like so, and then wiggle them through, and then double check it on the output. So striped orange, orange, striped green, blue, striped blue, green, striped brown, brown. Now here's the fun part. Since this is actually a little bit thicker, than the opening allows, I take a pair of pliers and I mash that down like so, so that it fits in. And then you basically just got to make sure oh, all the way around gets fully in there so that you get a lot of the sheath inside there, like so. Make sure that your wire colors right, orange, orange, green, blue, blue, green, brown, brown. So then with the scissors, take and cut it as close as possible. But then you want to slowly wiggle it back so that the wires are just flush with the end of there and the sheath is still in there. So then you take and crimp it. These ones are a little bit harder to push in. And these ones, I actually crimp twice, at, or three times, uh, just because they're a little bit harder and this makes it a little more consistent. So now you got all this extra stuff here that you gotta take care of. So you take your wire, just kind of wiggle it around like that, till it breaks. And then you take your foil, and if it doesn't tear easy, take a little pocket knife, make a slit. Oop, all right, that one didn't turn out good. <laughs> hmm. I've done like a thousand of these and I never had this problem. Close enough. Anyway, the idea is to have that wire be touching the metal housing and the foil also be touching the metal housing. Usually I try to get this tin foil flush around there, but obviously that didn't work. But otherwise this would have been a really good end. Then of course you test it. 